This video is an introduction to AFNI. AFNI stands for Analysis of Functional Neural Images and is an fMRI software analysis package. Compared to packages such as SPM or FSL, AFNI allows the user a great amount of flexibility in visualizing the results at each step of the processing stream and also enabling the user to have more control over the parameters of their processing and data analysis. AFNI is developed by a team of researchers at the National Institutes of Health, and one of the main features of AFNI is that there is no release date. So there is no schedule for new versions, for new patches, they're updated on an ad hoc basis. So as users request new features or ask for them on the message boards, the AFNI crew will attempt to implement those changes as soon as possible. So we're going to do a very brief tour of the AFNI interface. Once you've installed AFNI, you should be able to execute AFNI from anywhere in your shell by just typing in AFNI and hitting return. You can also change the defaults of how these windows pop up. For example, whether you want to see the axial and sagittal slices and also the resolution of these windows. Now within AFNI, you can also go into what is called video mode which it can be used to do a very brief run through of say your anatomical images and your functional images in order to detect artifacts. This can be done by clicking in the window and pressing the V key. So as I said it's the same for functional images and again if you hit this graph button you'll see a time course of these voxels. Now this is a 3x3 matrix because we're looking at a 3 by 3 grid of voxels. But say you wanted to check for any artifacts due to motion, for example. You can rescale this and again hit video mode and any huge spikes in activation you can determine whether that's due to movement by just inspecting this visually or whether it's due to task-related activation. Visualizing results is also very simple and intuitive. Once you process results with AFNI, you're able to select what you want to output into your statistical data set. So for example, the beta maps, any contrasts, any F-tests, and so on. So in this example, let's look at a T-map of, say, tap left versus tap right, which should elicit robust activation in the right motor cortex. Also with AFNI, you can adjust the p-threshold on the fly. There's no need, as an SPM, to go back and adjust your uncorrected p-threshold each time you want to look at results. Fix this up a little bit here, make it look a little prettier. And also, you can determine whether you want to toggle only looking at positive activations or both positive and negative activations, which can be very useful. Clusterizing can also be done almost instantaneously, as can generating reports of different peaks of activation and jumping between them. AFNI outputs data sets in what is called a brick head format. This is analogous to the image header format output by SPM. So in other words, the information in the header file will point towards the raw data inside the brick file. Information about the raw data can be used, can be found using one of AFNI's commands called 3D info. So for example, the voxel resolution can be found very easily, the TR, the slice thickness, and arbitrary units of intensity at each subric. Each subric in this case representing a single acquired volume. Furthermore, you can see an output history of every command that has been used in order to output excuse me, this data set, which creates a paper trail that you can then use to find out how this data set was generated. Most commands in AFNI have the prefix of 3D. So for example, 3D info, 3D deconvolve, 3D despike, and tools that can be used to manipulate, say, strings of data. So for example, your timing files or motion parameter files 
they have a 1D prefix. So for example, 1D tool.py. Lastly, and this is a recent, a relatively recent invention, there are the so-called Uber scripts. So for example, after you set your Python libraries, you can then execute a command called uber underscore subject dot py. What this will do is it will open up a graphical user interface that you can then fill in, and once you're done, you can use it to generate a script which can then be executed to run a typical AFNI analysis. Now this just provides a template, and you can then go back into the generated script and alter it in order to customize it to fit your needs.